Hi, I'm Ken Sherman, senior editor here at CNET.com. Today we'll take a first look at the Samsung Behold. This is a new phone for T-Mobile. It's also called the SGH T919. Not really sure why they came up with the name Behold, but uh, it is a pretty attractive phone overall. In case you haven't noticed, touchscreen phones are definitely in, and this is T-Mobile's latest entry into that game. It has a design that we've seen on a few phones before, like the Samsung Omnia, also the LG Dare. Basic rectangular candy bar shape with a huge touchscreen here in the middle. Just a few physical controls down here on the bottom, so not particularly unique in that sense. It is attractive. I like how the phone feels in my hand. It travels well. It slips into a pocket or bag. It does have a nice sturdy feel. It is available in two colors, espresso, which is basically brown, which is this color, and also rose, which is sort of a pink, but the features are the same on both phones. The touchscreen is pretty large. Uh, for the phone size, uh, it is going to be smaller than what you might see in the iPhone or some other touchscreen phones out there, but I think for this phone size, it's fine. It is pretty bright and vibrant. I uh, like the colors, like the way graphics look. This phone does have Samsung's TouchWiz interface. We've seen that on the Samsung Omnia. What that is, it's basically just a new, kind of new menu interface. Uh, on the standby mode, it doesn't look like much, but if you tap this arrow here, you'll see that it actually brings out this bar here on the side. On the bar are what they call widgets, and what these are are basically icons you can press to activate certain features. You can do a few things. You can customize the bar in a few ways. You can slide the icons around. You can even take an icon and slide it out to the main screen. You can open it up, uh, the feature, and then you can slide it back. So there is uh, some variation. It is a new way that Samsung's approaching menu interface. So it's nice. You know, some people might find it a little gimmicky. I kind of liked it. There were some customization issues that we had. Uh, we wish you could actually uh, just control it a little more, but overall pretty nice. You can also go to the main menu, which is just a basic uh, menu interface with icons that we've seen on a lot of phones before, so uh, that's easy as well. Down here we have a talk and end control. There's also a back button. Uh, it might look like an OK button, and actually, and, but actually it is a back button. There's a tiny little arrow on it, so you do want to notice that. Here on the side is the charger port and wired headset jack. Uh, like a lot of Samsung phones, they do combine these together. That means the headset jack is proprietary. Uh, you can get an adapter though, but so we don't like that proprietary connection and also don't like that you can only use uh, one peripheral at a time. So if you're in your car, for instance, and you're using a wired headset uh, and you want to charge a phone at the same time, you can't do that. Phone does offer Bluetooth, so that's a way to work around that, but of course that means you have to go and buy a Bluetooth headset while you, a wired headset does come in the box. There's a volume rocker on this side. Uh, here is a handset locking key. You, down here is a dedicated camera button. Here in the back, you can see it uh, looks a little like a regular camera from behind. There is a, there is a self-portrait mirror flash and the camera lens. This is a 5 megapixel camera, so it comes pretty stocked. Unfortunately, you do have to remove the battery cover to access the memory card slot, which is always inconvenient. For typing messages, the phone does have a full keyboard. Uh, you can activate that a certain way, so you can go into the messages, tilt the phone on its right, and the full keyboard will appear. I think for the phone size, the keyboard is fine. Uh, it is a little small, though, when compared to other keyboard phones out there. So if you have big fingers like me, you do want to give the phone a test drive first. Down here in the bottom, you will see that there is a uh, one-step uh, button to get you to the f making calls. They have a Nomer numeric keyboard. You can get to voicemail, get to messaging, all from this step. So that is, not, that is pretty convenient. Also, you have a full web browser, uh, organizer features, any kind of PC syncing. So it's a pretty mid-range phone in that sense. It's not a smartphone. doesn't have a third-party operating system. definitely has a lot of features as far as multimedia and organization go. The touchscreen itself is pretty responsive, has a vibrating feedback, which is nice. So uh, we didn't have many problems using it. Brett web browser was a little clunky. I think really think the iPhone has really set the bar in that sense as far as a web touch interface web browser goes. But I think it's fine for what we have on the phone. I'm Ken Sherman, and this is Samsung Behold.